Pretty cool. We're hopping right in this morning. Imagine a kangaroo the size of a jelly bean. Well, that's the reality for staff at the Nashville Zoo. I took a deeper look into the relationship of a kangaroo and their keeper, finding out how they attain a level of trust so big they allow humans to see their joeys before they're even out of the pouch. Hi, guys. So my name's Nate. Welcome to the Kangaroo Kickabout. The Kangaroo Kickabout is currently home to nearly 20 red kangaroos at the Nashville Zoo. Nate Morris works with these magnificent marsupials every day. He says it's rewarding to see them develop. Our quality of work is their quality of life. The harder we work and make sure that their quality of life is just better, they're more comfortable here. Uh, that's why we do all the training that we do. Kangaroos are native to Australia. They can live up to 25 years in captivity. Now they've got almost a dozen new joeys to look after. We have five that are in the early developmental stages. The most recent one that we saw was born um, probably three weeks ago, uh, and that's the size of a jelly bean. Keepers perform routine pouch checks to determine if an embryo has attached to a kangaroo's pouch and to develop a plan for care. We phased in them putting their hands on top of a bowl, and then we would just ask them to do that. But it takes a great deal of trust for a kangaroo to allow a pouch check. I'm going to come in, I'm going to say pouch, let her know that I'm going to be checking her pouch, and then open her pouch. Patients, positive reinforcement, consistency as a trainer. I am learning how to get what I want out of this kangaroo. And the kangaroo is learning how does it get what it wants out of me. Morris says one of the best parts of the job is talking with visitors. I've been a keeper for 13 years and you always remember the kids that come back and, and remember what you just talked about. So that is kind of why we do it. Soon, the public will be able to interact with the Joeys again. We are uh, prepping to uh, open our gates and let guests back in to interact with the kangaroos September 4th. To see and do the same thing as before the pandemic, um, uh, still staying on the path. And if the animals are coming up close, they will most definitely be allowed to touch them. We're still going to try to uh, um, create as much activity in here as possible, be as safe as possible as well for the guests and the kangaroos. Hopping into the hearts of every happy zoo-goer. And the kangaroo kickabout will reopen September 4th, and people will be able to interact with the joeys on the path, kind of like I did right here. That's Gertrude, by the way. Mary, isn't she just so cute? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I know what I'm doing on the 4th. <laughs>